guys, welcome to Castmasters Outdoors. Today I'm coming to you guys with a real little quick video on a uh, rod and reel arsenal update. As you guys can see, I'm holding a new rod in my hand. Um, I just got a purchase in the other day from Tackle Warehouse, and instead of doing an unboxing like a lot of people do, and you know they title it unboxing things like that, I just decided, you know, being anxious and whatnot, I broke it open. I got the reel already spooled up, uh, jig on or uh, uh, Texas rig rig on here already um, so this rod is basically ready to go however I wanted to come to you guys with an update video on the rod and reel arsenal something that not a lot of people do uh, compared to a usual just unboxing uh, so I wanted to come to you guys with this quick video to show you guys what I purchased the other day um, that I just got in the mail today the rod and reel that I got is a Powell diesel you guys probably can't read it and it's upside down but it's a seven foot two medium heavy with a extra fast taper on it. The rod that I've been using lately, uh, having started to bass fish a lot more lately, my main rod that I've been using is my seven foot bionic blade. Uh, it's a seven, uh, seven foot medium heavy with a moderate uh, action on the tip. And that is mainly a jig rod. It's not as much a Texas rig rod, plastics rod, stuff like that, which is what I've been using it for all summer long. Starting to bass fish more like I have been, I'm really trying to update my arsenal. I really want to get technique specific with my rods, and I figured now would be a good time to do that. Uh, I had a pretty good paycheck come in, and I decided, what the heck, I'll spend a little bit of that and get a new rod and reel. The reel that I got on, this uh, Powell Diesel is a Lose Laser MG. It is the 7 1 to 1 gear ratio, silver edition. Um, I really, really like this combo, you guys. It's super light. I got 14 pound Suffix Elite Clear on there. And like I said, I already even got a Texas rig on there with a 3 8 ounce and a 5 watt. Um, like I said, this rod is going to be my Texas rig rod. Uh, right now, I got a bigger hook on there because I'm going to use it for worms. I'm going to throw some 10 inch worms, some 8 inch worms on there this weekend fishing it along, weed lines, things like that for the deeper water bass. Um, but I just wanted to come to you guys with this quick update to the rod and reel arsenal from my personal rod and reel arsenal um, because like I said, I really want to start getting a little more technique specific with my rods, things like that. I want to target, you know, I got my jig rod and now I got my Texas rig rod. Next rod that I get is probably going to be a buzz bait slash spinner bait rod. Um, might end up getting two separate rods for that strictly because I like throwing braid with buzz baits and fluorocarbon with my spinner baits. So I'm probably going to get a top water rod next for actually probably a frog rod next. It's probably the next rod you guys will see because I want to get a frogging rod next because I do throw a lot of frogs, a lot of jigs, and a lot of Texas rigs. Those are my three main baits, and obviously I got my jig and my Texas rig rod now. Um, so I'm probably going to get a frogging rod next, and then probably from there get like a, a spinnerbait swim jig rod and then maybe a cranking rod who knows but for now i just wanted to come to you guys show you guys my new rod here the powell diesel i uh, highly recommend that if you're a high school angler like i am if you're a youth younger angler or even a veteran angler that is just simply looking to get a nice quality cheap rod under you know maybe like a hundred dollars is your top uh, top budget i highly recommend checking out the powell diesel Powell does make other rods such as the Inferno, but uh, this rod was 80 bucks on Tackle Warehouse. They do only make three lengths. They make a seven foot, a seven two, and a seven six, and they're all medium heavy. I cannot tell you if they're all the same taper of the extra fast like this seven two is, but um, they're all really nice rods. All of Powell's rods are nice. Uh, this is actually the first Powell that I've owned, but watching other anglers such as Mikey Balls who uses them and things like that, um, they look like very quality rods and now that I've got my hands on it I can tell you guys uh, just by holding it that this is going to be a very quality rod um, I got a feeling I'm going to be getting some big bass with this rod and I can't wait to put it to the test and really get it into my mindset of how good of a rod this is I do plan on buying maybe like a 7 foot in this rod as well but like I said I'm not sure I have to go back and look if they're all the same taper or not but uh, they're very nice rods. So if you're a high school angler or younger angler just looking to buy a nice cheap rod, I definitely recommend checking out the Powell Diesel. Uh, but stay tuned, guys. We're going to get out on the water this weekend. 
and uh, hopefully from there we'll be able to let you guys see this rod to the test and uh, see some big fish on in the boat. Stay tuned, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.